ים, ים, ים. All right, folks. <clears throat> we back in the lab. We back in the studio. This is the Cabin's Law Podcast. I'm your host, Rob, home of your sports, trending topics, and interviews. Today, <clears throat> NFL Week 3, we talking sports. Uh, before we start, man, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. <clears throat> hit the share button. Hit the like and share. I need you to do all that shit. And if you're not subscribed to the YouTube, make sure you subscribe. It's right there. It's right here. Wherever it is on the screen. Take two seconds to hit the button, man. <clears throat> and if you're really feeling froggy, man, hit the little bell on the YouTube so you get everything when it comes out. All right. Week three, man. You already know where we're going. We're talking Commanders <clears throat> versus Bills game. Dallas loses the Cardinals. Phillies 3-0. and And Miami beats the shit out of the Denver Broncos. And we got Kansas City Chiefs news. Um, let's get into it. <clears throat> All right. Commanders lose. Commanders got their asses whooped. Let's just use that. They got their asses whooped. 37 to 3 by the Buffalo Bills. Um, I don't think it's too much of a, sh- a shock here, man. I mean, Buffalo Bills is like that. I mean, you know, definitely still my pick, you know, to go to the Super Bowl this year as I picked the last three years and they let me down. But uh, I'm just going to – let's just start with the stats before I get my, my take on the situation. <sighs> I just had to take a little break. All right. Sam Howell goes 19 for 29, 170 yards, four interceptions, nine sacks. Um, Then you have Brian Robinson, 10 rushes, 70 yards. Why was he not getting the ball more? Um, Then you got a a good old fumble by Antonio Gibson. This is why you're the backup. Um, Takeaways for the game, man. I know a lot of people were the first thing they was doing was they were blaming Sam Howell. I'm not blaming him first. I'm blaming the coaches. I'm going to blame the coaches first because uh, the play calling was looking crazy as hell. I didn't see no adjustments made. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start there. I'm blaming the coaches. Then I'm going to move to the quarterback. Um, you know, yeah, the offensive line is terrible. I'm going to blame them right after. The offensive line is terrible. We already know that. But you're holding that ball too fucking long. You're holding that ball too long. You're target fixating on the same fucking people. And as a result, you're getting sacked. Um, so he got to make he got to make better plays. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, he's only had four starts, man. Fuck all that. You're a professional. Are right? you been playing football your whole life? Like, we're going we're gonna to stop giving these quarterbacks passes because they just got in the fucking league. Like, bro, you, you play you play good the first two games. I mean, OK. But offensive line is terrible. I'm going to go with the running backs. Um, I think Brian Robinson should have got the ball a lot more. Why was y'all not running the ball? Well, you're like, y'all were running the ball, and it was doing pretty good, and then you just kept doing with these fucking passes, picks after picks after picks. Um, but, you know, Antonio Gibson fumble. We ain't need that. You know what I'm saying? He was running hard, but, you know, fumble is a fumble. It's a hit against you. In the secondary, <sighs> got to get back on the secondary. I don't know what's worse, our offensive line or our secondary. Which one do you think is worse? Because each week I think they switch. They're about, they're about together, and then it's like this. Obviously, it's going to be the old line this week. But, you know, bro, secondary. I mean, I'm looking at, you know, Gabe Davis, you know, wide open end zone catch. I'm looking at fucking Stephon Diggs just picking through us. You know what I'm saying? Just a lot of uncontested catches, man. You know, you had a few jumping, you know, jumped in front and batted it down. But, bro, I mean, fucking Stephon Diggs had what? He had eight catches, 111 yards, bro. Come on, just one person. Where's the adjustments at? Coaches? Where's the fucking adjustments? Oh, we got to sit here and watch this game and watch how you get your asses. It's a home game, bro. Home game, sold out stadium. I didn't understand y'all wasn't going to win, but I did expect for you guys to compete. Y'all was not competing. If you had a nerd to kick a field goal at the end. As far as I'm concerned, it's 37 to fucking zero. Zero. I'm just like, why y'all didn't kick the field goal? And and I one play, I think this is going in the halftime. Y'all went for it on fourth down. Why didn't you just kick the fucking field goal? Like you giving up easy points because you want to do this fourth fourth down riverboat Ron shit, bro. Y'all looking, y'all are looking the exact same way as what I called it. Y'all looking real seven and fucking ten out here, bro. <clears throat> What's the solution? What do we do? Y'all, y'all, y'all ready to jump ship on Sam Howell and go to Jacoby Brissett? I ain't ready to do that. No, 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 no. I ain't ready to do that. But uh, 
this ain't it, y'all. I mean, I understand the Bills is a good team. I understand. I understand. It's Josh Allen, man. He's a fucking dog. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, they was doing all types of shit. They was running the fucking ball on us. They was throwing passes. Quarterback was sneaking. I mean, get, come on, bro. Like, what the fuck? What are we doing? Bro, we got Philly next week. <clears throat> we got Philly in Philly next week. Same type of quarterback, same type of offense, same type of defense. He said, Philly and fucking the Bills are essentially the same team, bro. Like, what y'all going to do? Are we going to make some adjustments? You better make some fucking adjustments. Because if we go out there and we get fucking 30, 30 fucking 35 points put on us or 30 fucking four points put on us again, it's going to be a long rest of the season. And um, at this point, I'm going to be in this bitch ball. I'm tempted to take his hat and throw it across the fucking room. But I signed a one-year deal. You know what I mean? So I'm here. But bottom line, man, um, not enough running, bro. Y'all should have been running the ball. I get it that we was expecting it to be rainy all day, and it wasn't. You know what I mean? It was off and on, just like last week. But, bro, y'all wasn't running the ball, and the run was working. Why was y'all not running the ball? Run the ball. You know what I'm saying? Get a couple and then do some little play action shit. They wasn't doing, they wasn't even throwing no screens, which was crazy to me. I was like, damn, y'all not even gonna throw no screens. Y'all not even using plays that like the traditional team would use when the weather's bad. But yeah, y'all are literally trying to throw bombs. We're not the bomb team yet. We're not them yet. All right. Stick to what you know and stop trying to keep throwing it to the fucking tight end all the time. Use your receivers. Just run shorter plays. Come on. Very disappointed. Let's move on, though. <clears throat> so I want to give a shout-out to all my Dallas buddies who who thought they were sweet, was making posts and shit while my command was getting their asses whooped. Premature posting. Premature text. Y'all better wait till y'all game is over for y'all start talking shit. Because y'all fucking lost the Arizona Cardinals, a team that we won, that we beat. You know, y'all lost. Mm. Y'all see y'all see C.D. Lamb's face? The, the look of disappointment disappointment that ain't it you know what i mean I, I i see this from one one of my good men he's a dallas man every week they lose he say that ain't it i know a couple other people that say that but y'all yeah y'all paid him oj jones paid him um i just think dallas yeah y'all need to just play them one o'clock games because y'all y'all just as hot as cold as hot and cold as us you know y'all two on one we two on one we pretty much looking crazy out here as a unit at the moment but <clears throat> the cardinals though damn I won't say too much because, shit, they could have beat us, but they didn't. You know what I mean? We won, and y'all didn't. So any Dallas fans, y'all can go ahead and shut the fuck up for the week, um, and we'll move on on there. Next. Bro, I didn't see the game. I seen the highlights. The shit looked crazy. Miami over Broncos, 70 to 20. Yeah. Bro, what the fuck is going on in Denver, bro? What's going on in Denver, bro? I mean, they was they, the week before that they was up on the Commanders. What twenty one to three? We came back and won the game. And this game, I'm just gonna read the stats. You got Tua had uh he went twenty three for twenty six, three hundred nine yards, four touchdowns. You had I want to make sure I say this gentleman's name right. You had Devon Action. If I said it wrong, sir, just just DM me and I'll correct it. Eighteen carries, two hundred. And three yards, two touchdowns. And then you had Raheem Mostert, 13 carries, 82 yards, three touchdowns. Tyreek Hill, nine catches, 157 yards, a touchdown. Bro, what the fuck? Bro, I I only see these stats when I'm playing Madden against my child on rookie. Bro, these stats are unfucking real. You know, they could have had the most points. They could have kicked the field goal, but, you know, they're like, well, man, you know what? We just we just gonna run the clock, bro. They had seventy points with eight minutes and one second left in the fourth quarter. Damn, bro, it's probably the biggest ass whooping I've ever seen in my all my years of watching football. I don't know. I mean, maybe somebody can can, can name can somebody name a, a a a bigger ass whooping than than this? Because what's that? Who who's lost by more than fifty points in the, in the NFL? Let me know. Somebody somebody put that in the comments. Um, I'm glad to see Tua balling, man. You know, especially last year with him, you know, all his injuries, you know, his concussions and shit like that, questioning whether he should play, 
you know, question whether he should retire and all that other stuff. I mean, I, I think as long as he, he keep himself protected, the team, the team keeps him protected. I think he got a, a new helmet. Um, the team keep him protected, man. I mean, the boy gonna keep doing numbers. He he got all the firepower, and they was missing uh uh, uh what's the guy named Waddle? They was they was missing their other re- receiver, and they still put these numbers up. So I mean, they in good hands, man. You know, it's one thing I, I so I mentioned this to a buddy of mine. You know, those in preseason or in practice, those little uh helmet covers that they wear over their helmets. I think in the next few years, maybe the next four or five years, if they if they keep having a bunch of concussions like this, especially for these quarterbacks, they're gonna take them shits and put them on the helmets and they just gonna put a logo on the side and that that's what the helmet's gonna be. Which I think would y'all be pissed about that? I think if you if you put a good design on there, I mean them hits won't be as loud, but you know, at least that's that's saving, you know, saving some time on somebody's career or on their life. You know what I mean? It won't you know uh a lower chance of getting CTE. Um, but shout shout to Miami, man. Miami is is definitely they didn't grew on me, man. Pause. Um, but shout to them. And lastly, man, Kansas City Chiefs beat the Bears ass 41 to 10. Hey Salt. Hey Salt, Salt, you alright? It's my buddy Salt, man, from from my, my PS5 mob. Uh shout to them. Shout to Hop Out Gang. Um so the headlines for this game had nothing to do with them actually winning. The headlines for this game were Travis Kelsey and potentially dating Taylor Swift. I mean, it's like, why is this even news? So I won't say why is it even news because I'm covering it. So it is news. But, you know, I feel like they just, they, they sizing this shit a little too hard. Um, you know, he was scoring touchdowns. She was in the stands. I mean, she scored the touchdown. They didn't even go to him celebrate. They went right to the goddamn suite and showing her with her hands up. Yeah, 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 they, yeah, Travis. Um, but the, the biggest thing, man, and and this is why I need to start making my posts fast. You know, the biggest problem I have is when I see stuff, and I don't make a post on it immediately, and then like the two days later, the same thing, the same thing that I I feel like I pointed it out first over everyone on the internet, it starts to surface on the internet. I'll be like, damn, I told y'all. So when Travis Kelsey was dating his ex man you know you notice how you know how he had that haircut he had the he had the crispy the crisp fade you know what I'm saying crisp medium fade you know what I mean faded real nice into the beard nice clean beard had the hot towel treatment you know what I'm saying and now he's allegedly or I mean can we could say he's dating we'll just say he's dating Taylor Swift now now he got the motherfucking the marine corps fucking state trooper fucking high top fade with the thick ass mustache Damn, bruh. Look, we can call it what it is, man. When you date, when you was with that black woman, that shit was looking fresh. Now you you with this white woman. Now all of a sudden you just just cut me real quick. You know what I mean? You went from you went from a 45-minute haircut, you know what I'm saying, having a good ass conversation with the barber, you know what I mean, talking about, you know, life stories and all that to, you know, getting your hair cut at, at the local hair cuttery, man. And you just sit down and five minutes later this shit is done. Give me eight dollars. Like <laughs> I don't know, bro. That shit funny, but I mean, I'm happy for him regardless. I mean, as long as he footballing, you know what I'm saying. But, bro, 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 bring that, bring, bring the real fade back, man. You, you, you don't have to have a beard, but that fade too high and that mustache too thick, bro. I, I feel like you're gonna give me a, a speeding ticket, man. So, but that's all I got, man. I, I, I do want to throw out there. I'm, I'm, I'm highly fucking disappointed in my commanders. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. I got to bounce back for me, man. Bounce it back for me, man. Pause. Just come out and play with some intensity, man. I knew y'all, I knew y'all wasn't going to win. I, I sat there and said, oh, if we go undefeated, you know, if we win, we might go undefeated. Yeah, it was, that might have been a little clickbait. But I, I expected y'all to compete, man. And nah, y'all was getting blown the fuck out in, in every aspect of the game. So let's do better, man. Um, I'll see y'all next week, man. Remember, share, subscribe, like, 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 like this shit, man. I love y'all. Cap now.